Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts. And we're going to be looking at episode 11 of Outlander. And we saw last time that she, uh, Claire, had um, gotten kind of um, picked up by uh, Blackjack Randall and um, her husband saved her. And um, I guess we'll go on from there. The girl that did the witchery in the town, they were going to um, um, execute her, I think, because um, they felt like she was um, doing some witchy stuff. So let's go on and see what's happening here. And this episode is called um, The Devil's Mark. And they arrested Claire, too. I forgot about that. For both of them for doing witchery. Killed Dougal's wife. But you definitely killed Arthur. And it wasn't witchcraft. It was old-fashioned poison. Am I wrong? Now they're both in jail together. Or they were both in jail together. I started with white arsenic a few months ago. And then you'd be free to marry Dougal. Yeah, she was having an affair with Dougal. It's a boy again. He's kicking. Hmm. Food for the watchers. Oh, they are still in. Okay. Wait! I need to talk to you! There's been a mistake! Is that right? I'm Claire Fraser from, from Castle Leon. I'm married to James Fraser, nephew of the lad. I'm King Arthur. Yeah. Surely King Arthur was more appealing than that slimy puddock. <laughs> well, she didn't pay attention to what her husband told her to do. We won't be To here, stay away from her. Duke will come for us. Yeah, no, right. we won't. Yes, he will. No one is coming, Galus. Yep, they're going to burn you at the stake. Do some of your witchery, huh? See if you can get a message to him. You should have listened to your husband. He told you not to associate with her. Well, that's a good prison cell. You can't get out of there without a letter. Oh, yeah, they're getting the witch burning ready. Wow. They're not even going to give him a trial. Stating in the evidence that the accused, one Gamus Duncan and one Claire Fraser, both standing before the church's court for the crime of witchcraft. Oh, good. And you are, sir? My name is Edward Gowan, Your Honor, lawyer, former writer to the Signet, Edinburgh. Thank you. Let him pass. And what brings you here, sir? Your Honor, as we're all aware, the Witchcraft Act of 1563 was repealed by the House of Lords in 1735. I therefore submit that this entire trial is illegal. This is an ad hoc proceeding uh. under the administration of the church. Well, I see that we have dispensed with British law, which pleases me greatly, but uh, I am certain that you will not wish to dispense with our proud Scottish legal tradition. We are still in Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> I like him. No one's disputing that, Mr. Gowan. Yes, well, here in Scotland, uh, an accused witch is entitled to a defence lawyer at trial. A, a benefit... A benefit sadly not offered to those in merry old England. Mm. As I therefore would like to offer my services in support of the accused. Oh, very well. <laughs> Take your place. Let us now summon the first witness. Jeannie Hume. I laboured as housekeeper for Arthur and Gaelis Duncan for nigh on five years, Your Honor. And did you ever witness Mrs. Fraser in league with Mrs. Duncan? Many times. Mm. In the fields, gathering herbs, and in the still room meddling potions. Poor Mr. Duncan knew not of any of it. Jeannie was rigorous and detailed in her accusations. For the better part of an hour, she built a convincing oh my God. case against us. An hour? It's dreadful what befell that dear, sweet man. Many occasion I have heard Mrs. Duncan singing in the hall outside where Mr. Duncan was sleeping. So what's what that got kind to do with any? singing? Ominous incantations, to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Would send the kitlings running from the house. 
Animals have a nose for these things, okay? They sense evil. So now we have to take the testimony of a of cat. A cat. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gubbard, isn't it the truth, Mrs. Hume, that you were unhappy in your position at the Duncan's residence? I was quick to yeah. there. Oh, so content that you inquired about a position at Castle Neoch, saying that you were underpaid and under-admired, and where you referred to Mr. Duncan, and I quote, as a flatulent old scunner. <laughs> and his wife to be a flippity gibbet. <laughs> I don't recollect those were my exact words. What we have here, Your Honours, is nothing more than the grumblings of a malcontented maidservant. Take a seat. <sighs> Let us summon the next witness, Rabina Donaldson. A man and I had an ailing child. Gone, healthy, but it turned puny and weak. We knew it was a fairy changeling. Ooh. We placed it in the fairy seat in the hill and kept watch through the next steps. We saw her. She took the child in her vile embrace and spoke strange spells over it. When the sun rose, my good man and I went to see where we found the changeling child dead in the hill. And no sign of our own wee bairn. It was her who'd done the wicked deed, sirs. I know it in my boy. Oh, it wasn't that you were not drinking the harm, your child. He was trying to help it. So you admit it. What? Father, incriminate yourself. Let me do my job. Yeah, shut your mouth. You, you, may I ask, if you were there, why did you do not stop this woman from interfering with the work of the fairies? I was afeard. So isn't it true then that your fear and silence killed your child? Allowed her to contaminate the bairn so that when the fairies came, they could not complete the switch. At least you can take comfort in knowing that it was the changeling child that died. And that your own child is healthy. Living forever with the fairies. Witness dismissed. Ned's skill at turning an argument mm -hmm. on its head started to show promise. Yeah, he's good. But as I looked around the room at these good people, I wondered, what made them so ready to watch us burn? Have ye a charge to put to either or the women here? Against Galus Duncan, Your Honour. With my own eyes, I saw her standing in the battlements during a great storm. I saw her call down the lightning with a flick to her hand. Thunder roared as she laughed. Her eyes, red as flames, with a look in them that would steal the soul from a man. Then the wind rose up. Her cloak flapped open around her, <laughs> and she leapt into the sky and flew like a great oh, winged bird. Oh, please. Butt. Please. Is there anybody make up anything? You'll take this whisk of water of life. It'll keep you warm tonight. Colin fights for the Mackenzies. Dougal fights for the McKinnons, the McPhersons, the Chisholms, the Camerons, all of the clans, all of Scotland. Man's alive. You actually love the bastard. <laughs> oh no! The crazy one. Mary Mackenzie. She was not Mrs. Fraser when we first became acquainted. She was Mr. Beecham then. Go on. I came to her for a potion. To open Jamie Fraser's heart to my own. I'm sorry, it's, it's painful to speak about. I was the one, you see who Jamie was meant to marry. But she took the potion herself. Oh, you're full of potion. Did you? Can Cock sick a potion? It, it, it wasn't an actual potion. I was just trying to help her. She hexed Jamie and turned him away from me. She stole him. This is nonsense. I didn't hex anybody. Silence! Clearly, she's a jealous young lass with a broken heart. I... My heart was broken. And when I confronted her, 
She struck me. Did you, in fact, strike this woman? She put an ill wish under my bed and then tried to seduce my husband. Call the next witness. These witnesses lack a lot Father of B. credibility. No bitch. <clears throat> oh no, the priest. Now you're going to tell him she. The good folk of Greensmuir. I knew when I first set eyes on Claire Fraser. Oh lord. But she that saved you the little had boy's life. The whore of Babylon into your midst, that you had allowed yourselves to be seduced from the path of righteousness mm -hmm. by her beguiling sinfulness and <coughs> wicked allurement. Is this right. a trial or a sermon? Thank you. I fell to my knees and prayed for God to curse her malevolence and wreak his mighty vengeance upon her body and soul. And God answered my prayers. He said to me, you have made a prodigious mistake. What? When young Thomas Baxter was seized by Beelzebub, I administered the last rites. I abandoned hope. Oh my God, he's going to say something good. Blinded by vanity, hubris, he's I rebuked Claire Fraser. But it was she who determined the boy was ill from ingesting poisoned flora. And Claire Fraser did what I could not. Saved the boy's life. Blessed congregation, hear my confession. Whoa. I failed Thomas Baxter. I failed you. Aww. And I failed God. No, you didn't. I am no longer worthy to serve the good and holy people of this parish. Ha! Now burn that. Burn that. He tried to stand up for her. Tried to stand up for her. I'm afraid the climate has turned and there's no coming back from it. But what do we do? We save one of you. Mmm. Wow. Neither one of us is a witch. It doesn't matter what you are, it's what people think you are. Right. And people thought you were a witch long before this English last. Oh, they? What if I don't? Then you're going to burn with her. I'll burn you both. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm going to a fucking barbecue. Uh. Uh, your honours, Mrs. Fraser would like to address the court. Mr. Gowan is mistaken. I have nothing to say. Ooh. Are you mad? Maybe I am. We must rely on an injunction of the Lord. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Hereby we pronounce Gillis Duncan and Claire Fraser guilty. And to hear... I think it is possible. What? 1968. Back's gonna look like your hills. Where the hell is Jamie? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sam, you have no place in the back of your best court. Swore an oath before the altar of God to protect this woman. And if you're telling me you consider your authority to be greater than that of the Almighty, then I must inform you you're that not. I am not of that opinion myself. I'm the first man forward who can be the first man down. down. That's right, Jamie. Tell him. This woman is no witch. But I am in snow. Oh. I confess that I killed my husband, Arthur Duncan, by the means of witchcraft. Oh, no. I took advantage of the ignorance of Claire Fraser. 
bewitching her for my purposes. She neither took part in nor had knowledge of my dealings, nor does she serve my master. See here, I bear the mark of the devil. Who? She came from 1968. What the villagers saw as evidence of evil was smallpox. Was actually the scar of yes. smallpox vaccination. Yep. And it hit me like a bolt of lightning. 1968. Galus was from the yes. future. Yes. Yes. From 1968. Oh my garage! Wow. Run. Clear. Come now. I am the mistress of Satan. I am his child. <gasps> something let it be the truth and i promise you the same i agree i came from the future there's one thing i must ask you for your own safety as well as mine are you <laughs> a witch are you serious i've often seen that scar on your arm and thought nothing of it tell us all the same on gail stunk in the day you better hide she called that it the devil's mark so, after you hear the truth, then maybe you'll think otherwise. Tell him the truth. I've never had smallpox. I can walk through a room of dying men and never catch it. I can nurse the sick, but the sickness cannot touch me. This mark is, is called a vaccine. You've never heard of it. No one here has. Because it's not been created yet. But it prevents me from contracting the disease. I know about Jack Randall because I was told about him. I know the day he was born and I know the day he will die. And I know that he works for the Duke of Sunderland because my husband told me about it. I know about the body prints, the Jacobites, and the doomed cause. I know what's going to happen to the Scots. Because I came from the future. I know all of this because... I traveled through time, somehow. Because... I'm from the future. I was born on October the 20th. In the year 1918, that's 200 years from now. Do you hear me? You think I'm raving mad, don't you? I don't understand it a bit. Not yet. <laughs> but I trust you. Good. I trust Good. your word. In your heart. Your heart. Oh. I trust there is a, a truth between us. Whatever you tell me. I'll believe it. I will believe you. Mm. Can you tell me more? It's a combat nurse. The British Army, before we left the church, she, she said to me... I told him everything. The whole story. It came pouring out of me like a cataract of water over a broken dam. Tell me again about the storms. I didn't realize how badly I needed to tell someone, really? anyone, until that moment. Scots never had a chance. He listened. Thousands were killed in Culloden. He didn't understand at all, but he listened. So, I left you in the glade and went to meet Horrocks, and you ran away. You're trying to get back. Back to the stones. And back. 
to your husband. I beat you for it. Mm. He feels so bad. Very... You couldn't have known. <laughs> He's such a good guy. Really me. <laughs> I believe he's assassinated. Oh, it would have been a good deal easier if he'd only been a witch. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like something bad's gonna happen. Like the red coats are gonna take a look. Oh, the stones. What you wanted? Yeah. What you've always wanted? To go home. Oh, he makes sure she got there if he could. Oh, yes. But like I said, how can you know you're gonna fall right back into 1944? What? So, what did you do last time? Nothing. <laughs> I really didn't do anything. I heard this buzzing sound and I just clutched the stone. He don't want her to go. <laughs> God, that has to be a really screwed up situation though, seriously. <laughs> you got your husband over here that you have. You got this husband over here. <laughs> I was about to be in there. Oh no. It's your own time. On the other side of that stone. You have a home there. The place. The things I used to. Frank. Oh my god. Oh. Frank. He's just too good of a man. <laughs> There's nothing for you on this side. Nothing. See violence and danger. That's true. Nobody's to say that Still she can become. do it. So mindful. To make sure that you're safe. Why is Asana? Jamie! Who's saying that you're going to be able to go back? And that'd be the craps if you went through through it and went to another different time. Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh no, you're not gonna stop there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, really? She's gonna come back. On your feet, soldier. Yes, yes, yes. Me home to Lallebrock. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, he's crying. He's so happy. Oh, awesome. Well. That was definitely, um, definitely interesting episode. Um, I was for sure thinking that um, he was gonna, um, she's gonna burn as a witch for sure. But evidently that didn't happen, and I thought she's gonna burn as a witch. I really did. Um, but then I knew that somebody was gonna save her. But. Um, that would be such a hard decision to make between trying to go back. I wonder if she even touched the stone or if it even happened. 
So um, let's get on to the next episode and see what happens. Please subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and like the video if you do. And we will see you again on the next one. And please, any comments below? Uh, I love to see the comments. So we will talk to you later. Peace out.